Okay, so I was selected on September the 7th, 2016 to review the George Foreman quesadilla maker. Uh, I got it in via USPS on September the 14th, so that's, that's typical shipping time, I guess. And it came in its regular manufacturer's packaging, not the no shipping box or anything like that, which I thought was kind of weird because you'd think that they want to you know protect it a little bit more but anyway so I opened it and it was perfectly fine it wasn't damaged or anything like that it comes in um, like a styrofoam shell in the box to adequately protect it even during shipping and everything so uh, when I was actually testing the KC maker the instructions are really clear and simple you plug it in wait about five minutes for it to preheat there's a little ready indicator light on the top of it that lets you know when it's done then you take a prepared quesadilla, you put it on the grill, you clamp it shut, you wait about five more minutes for it to finish toasting your quesadilla and it's done. Really easy to understand, really easy to use. But the problem that I found with it was that really, no matter how little amount of food you put in the quesadilla, the lid doesn't latch closed. And the instructions tell you not to force the lid closed, so I didn't. I didn't force it closed. I kind of pressed on it a little bit to see if I could get it to clamp, but it wouldn't clamp, or it wouldn't latch shut. And what this really did was it wouldn't let it toast all the way up in the front. So the back part was pretty toasted, not burned, but pretty toasted in the front, really just mostly had the lines in it for the you know where you would cut it so the front wasn't getting all the way toasted and um, that's the biggest issue that I had with it the other issue was that um, there's not when it's in the open position there's not a locking mechanism for the hinge to keep it from falling closed so over time the non-stick surface is gonna wear and things are eventually gonna stick a little bit to it so if you're you know shaking it around with a spatula trying to get the quesadilla unstuck from it that lid is going to clamp it's going to fall onto somebody's fingers and they could get burned if the plates are hot or if the plates aren't hot i mean it slammed on my fingers once and it it's heavy it hurt <laughs> so that's um my concern with that and because of that i rate the george foreman quesadilla maker a three out of five rating um it costs forty dollars from the manufacturer's website and i just don't think that that's that it's a good value for the money um it because it barely toasts the quesadillas it doesn't latch properly and it could potentially hurt somebody and that's my review i've done is before i have been putting just the bottom layer on there and then the, on the maker and then putting the top layer on this one i actually put less mix in there and then I put the the top layer of tortilla on and I've pressed it down so I mean I can actually like pick it up and it's not you know falling apart and um, we're gonna put that on the quesadilla maker wait for one let's see if we can get it closed oh that bottom gets kind of hot so I don't suggest don't suggest doing that. It's still not gonna latch, even though there's very little in there. Let's uh, wait a few minutes. Just another minute. Alright, that front one really isn't getting much better, but... Oop! <laughs> These things are kind of difficult to get out. Especially one-handed, since I'm holding the camera. Alright. And that is that. And... It's pretty clean. How much considering I don't think it comes apart. I haven't found out that part yet, but 
super clean. So we have the, this is the first one that we did that my family has already dug into, but it came out okay. And this is the second one that has a little bit less. And this is the third one that had the least amount in it. Um, honestly, I think they all pretty much turned out the same, no matter how much you put in it, so that's that.